Welcome everyone to another Otago Vault career mode episode. Today we're taking on Wellington in the first class league and people will probably be thinking, where are the one day games that you mentioned? I forgot to click record on the uh, screen. I'm going to double check now to see if I am, and I am. But yeah, let's uh, get into the fixtures and results that we've last had. Uh, we've had a few first class league matches since. Uh, we didn't have a good run of it anyway, we... <clears throat> played a few games since but we'll cover the games from here down to the first class league um played wellington 305 for six was posted johnson 106 of 109 better beautifully five fours and a six carter 70 of 84 at the top savage was good along with true scott brady two for 54 moon two for 52 303 for eight with scott moon bringing up um a century for now 85 turner uh 51 We've got Green, Ravindra, and Savage getting amongst the wickets uh, there for uh, Wellington. And then we played uh, Central Districts. They were all out for 292 as Brady picked up. Um, sorry, I'm one game ahead. Okay. Welcome in, guys, to the first class match between Otago and Wellington. It's been a bit of a muddy season 12. I've just been busy doing some other projects, and I forgot to record um, an episode. You missed the one-day games between Wellington and Northern Districts. We'll go over some of the results, shall we, up to that point. So pretty much a few things have happened. Uh, we didn't make the um, one-day um, cup finals effectively we played wellington here 305 for six uh johnson 106 of 109 five fours and a six 70 of 84 for carter green 40 of 34 it's average 37 of 31 some tidy enough bowling from moon and brady but ultimately we should have probably got this we needed only a few off this over and we didn't get it uh turner 51 of 31 was quite good moon and allen were good they got us in a real strong position with their partnership Green, Revenger, and Savage doing all the damage for uh, Wellington there. And then final one-day cup game of the season, 307 for 9. Graham, 106 of 116, 16 boundaries. And Carey, 106 of 91, 64 is two sixes. Brady, 354, best bowler of the bunch, along with Moon, 1 for 27. 202 all out. Aswood started off really well, um, 79 of 39, 11 fours, three sixes. Just ran out of steam in the end, 47 of 25 for Bidati. But we only batted 19.2 hours. We try to we try to score quickly to get the bonus point here to try and sneak in. Um, ben Sears, 5 for 75 and uh, 3 for 23 for leg. It just fell apart um, big time as we we're trying to chase um, a big score down. In the first class competition, uh, 292 for Central Districts in this first innings. Uh, Williams, 56 and Mitchell, 60. A uh, couple of 40s to Taylor and Wales. Got Brady bowled quite well, 3 for 62. We had Williams, Hall, and Kay take a few wickets. Moon, 2 for 35. In response, 330. Moon and Asprid were solid up front, getting 148 run stand. Uh, Snow and Phillips combined well, uh, getting some scores there. To get us a wee bit of a buffer, uh, Skelton, 5 for 63. Rutherford, 3 for 61. Central Districts then roll for 118. Williams with an outstanding performance of 7 for 35. It could have been a lot worse, but uh, Mitchell got 50 on 106 and Friend combined to get them something anyway and 81 for two and we sort of had a few hiccups there we had a retired herd and turner lewis 33 off 82 and sutherland 16 off 65 so very important one we had a draw against uh wellington wellington are top of the table at the moment so 379 away we really toiled away here it was a tough tough slog and we had all our international players back on duty again snow 70 out of 189 um didn't get the call in the black hats this time foxcroft 91 of 198 11 boundaries brady 67 126 hours of vital wee innings savage 6 for 129 revenger 3 for 121 the spinners doing most of the damage uh wellington 506 for four in response it was completely dominant we're sort of lacking the bowlers at the moment we're probably not going to defend our title still in the running but ultimately um we are sort of struggling uh everyone getting runs for wellington here it's centuries to oddy 104 of 172 12 fours johnson 113 of 134 was quite good as well 16 fours and a uh, six johnson always gets runs against us very consistent player and has played quite a few games for the uh black caps uh there as you can see true scott dickens and cox getting um very solid 50s the bowlers really battled uh in this game 
Uh, one wicket apiece for Brady, True Scott, Hall, and Radley. And we got to 314 all out. Uh, Bent with 134 of 334 deliveries. Had to bat some time out of the game. And Glenn Phillips, 54 off and 126. So Nathan Smith, 458. Ravindra, 3 for 93. Wellington didn't have enough time to get the total. 54 without loss. So the game against Auckland, 386 Auckland posted with Lampard. A massive 165, 358. He's a good player, this guy. Um, expect him to get a few more um, gains for the Black Caps. Should be in that team really now, but... Um, yeah, like, apart from that, 8 for 86 for Trent Kitson. His best performance in first class level. He's sort of blooming along quite nicely now. He's had a pretty nice season um, across most of the formats. It is starting to become a regular in our team, which is nice. So, we got to 341 with Radley 141 of 142, 26 fours and a six. Bentall 74 of 125, but there wasn't much else. We needed another score to really hit into that 400s and get ahead of Auckland. Uh, Jamison, three for 96. Stack, Lampard, and Ashok, uh, two wickets apiece. Auckland, 262 for eight. Uh, just solid work from most of the batting order. A few starts, a couple of 50s. Brady, 3 for 63. Kitson, 3 for 72. And 1 for for Hall and Radley. And we're bundled out for 220. We tried to chase the total down. We're a bit brave in trying to uh, go for it. Uh, Foxcroft, 102 off 101. Was really the lone ranger there for a long, long time. Uh, Jamison, 6 for 54. Ripped through the um, batting there. So where does that put us on the first class table? It puts us in third. We need to knock over Wellington today if we're any chance of um, winning um, three titles in a row. It's been a pretty tough season. Let's get to the team. I have named the team. So pretty much we have a lot of players on international duty, obviously, and it's pretty tough going. Uh, we're probably giving a few other players an opportunity here today. Moon and Asfoot opening up, of course. Cochrane and Bird. Burr gets another opportunity. Uh, Finnell and Phillips, very experienced, uh, 5 and 6. Armstrong getting a game with uh, pretty much Foxcroft injured. Bidady, we could have played, but we've got to develop um, Mr. Arm Simon Armstrong now. He's played a few games across the limited over stuff. Good to get him in. Brady and Kitson opening up with uh, Peel and Bickerton. So it's a pretty much a team that Wellington should be able to beat. We're going to have to play adventurous cricket. Um, we're going to have to play quite aggressively and to try and get this result. So let's see if we can get some early inroads on for that um, order here. It's a good solid start. 42 without loss after 12. We'll bring in some spin. Get back a 10. Opportunity for Jacob to get amongst it. And we're going to bring in um, Armstrong early. Back a 10's been a wee bit expensive. Scott Moon into the attack now. It's Scott Moon. We'll get. The first wickets as Wellington are 111 for 1. Carter with 59. Carter, a relatively um, experienced player. Looks like he's got the goods. Uh, we've got um, Jeff Black on sort of debut. 119 for 1. It's looking so ominous. Peel will get an opportunity here. 122 for 1, roughly 4 and over. We're keeping an eye on the Auckland Canterbury game. Auckland looking quite good there. 83 for 4 in that other game. It just looks like it's going to be a real battle for our guys. We're going to bring our um, aggressiveness back up. We're going to try and hunt for some wickets with Brady. Kitson will go to a two a bit of aggression. Kitson will get the wicket of Black. So that's a bit of a miscue from Black. And another key wicket for Otago. And it's a good wee it's a good wee session of play for the Otago Volts as Brady now depart uh, gets Johnson and he departs for six. Get them to have a bit of a rest. Uh, Peel into the attack. Uh, just gonna drop it down a wee bit in aggression there. And yeah, Scott Moon will come into the attack. He will try and buy a tidy line of length. Scott Moon getting some handy wickets here. He'll get the wicket of Jeffrey Cox. Really could use Jeffrey Cox now. He's a very experienced campaigner. And he's just a handy man to have in your team. Unfortunately, we had to give him up for um, Albert Bentall. Albert Bentall's to the right, and Moon's doing a good job here. The all-rounder, um, opening the batting, of course, as well. He's picked up another wicket. Might keep Moon going at one end. Hunt's 
and wickets are Armstrong. Wellington do back quite deep though. The ball will be taken 288 for five as Brady and Kitson will be looking to take some wickets in the sweet spell. from Dale Phillips to Kitson. Kitson will get the wicket of Savage as well. So Targo have um, fought hard here. Bowlers are doing a commendable job. It's not a wee partnership for me though. Like Graham King can even bat. And he usually bats 11. Like they got Bond in the team who's been around a long time. They've got some good operators. One over left will bring in Jacob Bickerton who has not bowled too much today. Kits in and uh, Brady will open up today's proceedings. Brady will pick up a wicket of Smith but Wellington have advanced the score to 358 for 8. Jacob Bickerton gets some overs under his belt. He's going to pick up a wicket, Jacob Brickerton. He's going to get the wicket of King. Wellington have got a good first um, inning score, though. 49. Rain has stopped play, which does not help the Otago cause if most of the day gets rained out. Peel in for the attack. Uh, we'll bring Brady in for the attack as well. Bad decision. 475 for nine. Devastating with Fogden getting amongst the runs. He's an opening bats. <laughs> He's an opening bats from batting at um a ten. Unbelievable. Just the depth Wellington have in the batting lineup. It's incredible. 489 they post. A lot of players getting starts and scores. Uh tough day at the office for the Otago bowling unit. Scott Moon, three for seventy five, a highlight of that particular inning. So we're gonna have to score quite fluently. Going to try and have to put Wellington in a position where um, we're going to have to win by an inning somehow. But sort of winding down this season, uh, really, for the Otago side. Just a season where um, the depth is just not quite there um, at the moment in terms of our backup players. We've got a lot of international players. We've got star quality players. This haven't been available too much of the season. So, Eswood. It's a good player, um, Bruce Aswood, uh, actually. He's been in the team a long, long time now. He's 28 years of age. He's played a few matches for New Zealand. He sort of knows the thing. His career for Otago is quite nice as well. 24 50, 700, 13 50s, 400s. Very good pickup he was. It's Moon. Love to get Moon amongst the runs again. Still, still sort of developing his game, Moon. He's sort of had a few rough seasons with the bat after his big um, standout season. Been worked out a wee bit. thing that um, Wellington um, will struggle with a wee bit is their bowling unit. That's what we're going to take advantage of. Like, very bat heavy. Uh, Bond and Savage will be uh, key for them. Good shots. So both men into the uh, 30s here. Just a solid session for Otago so far. A lot of work to do. Do bat reasonably deep. Brady has proven he can bat. Uh, Kitson can bat a little bit as well. So without loss. We, we probably need to score about 600, I think. And then try to roll Wellington on the final day if we can. Not going to be an easy task. Especially with the um, batting net they have. Especially Cochrane and Bird. Opportunity for them guys to get a few runs. Get a wee bit more of an opportunity. Aswood mistimes that, but he will pick up um, a couple of runs there. It's a solid start from these two. It's a good shot. Skimmies across. Gets the boundary. 100 run stand. Between Aswood and Moon. Both on 49. Good shots. Brings up a 50. Pretty good innings uh, from Eswood. We're going at a reasonable rate. Uh, 101 without loss now. Can Moon bring up his 50 in the same over? 
He does. Good shot. It's a good shot. Just drifting into the legs, and that is sweep for four. Good shot. It's a bit of a um, bit of a miscue. The court and bold. And Moon has gone for 52. Brings Jim Cochran to the crease. The youngster, 21 years of age. Got a wee bit of experience for New Zealand. Chance to um, showcase his talent. Aswood will continue on. The all-rounders did a good job um, in this game. Uh, Simon Moon uh, pretty much getting uh, 50 and a few wickets. It's a good shot. It's consolidating. Need another partnership here. Targo just got to build it up. 120 for one. Drops off the back foot. It's another good shot from um, Aswood. Scoring had a reasonable reasonable clip. Um, the vaults. Good shot. End of day two. 133 for one after 36 hours with Aswood 68 and Cochrane 10. Auckland. In a very tight tussle there, so that's good. New Zealand playing South Africa in the first of three internationals. We've got Lewis, Sutherland, uh, Radley, Rev, uh, Kay and Williams. We've got four internationals playing uh, today. Jim Cochran will be looking to up the scoring a wee bit. We've got to score at a reasonable rate. We've got to bet most of this day. This game is highly likely... Either a Wellington win or a draw at this stage. Not much in it for us. Somehow we've got to find a way of winning. We've got to set the launch pad, really, just to put things under some perspective. May do a tactical decoration and maybe try to chase something Wellington set for us. Uh, maybe a possibility. But we want to get we want to give some of these young fellas time in the middle as well. Like we've got three sort of players that haven't got too much experience at this level. Get some um, time out in the middle. So Edge, Cochrane, he will depart. He will go for 27. It brings Billy Bird to the crease. In his fifth first class game. Hasn't done anything too notable yet. 176 for two now. It's a good shot from Aswood. Just again playing the spin well. Savage and Bond are the key for Wellington, you think. And Nathan Smith with his... Um, very consistent uh, record of taking wickets at regular intervals. 99 for Aswood. He's batted so well um, here. Been in control. Another 100 uh, for Bruce Aswood. Yeah, it's 194 for two. He has, to, he has to get a big 100 if he can. Can't um, take the pit off the gas. He's got a nurse bird through a tough wee period of play. And allow him to uh, settle. So it's 201 for two. As Aswood picks up another boundary. Not scoring too slowly, Otago. It's good. It's a healthy, it's a healthy run rate at the moment. Hopefully, Billy Bird can get something going today. Oh, that's got a bit of spit on that. <laughs> As you can see, the pitch is starting to get a wee bit average now. And we're still trailing by an astronomical amount. That rain is going to really cost us some time. I think in this game to really mount a challenge. We're going to try and up the rate. We're going to try and be a little bit more aggressive. And Nathan Smith on cue will get a Billy Bird for 18. And Finn Allen is coming in to play a bit of a role here. He's going to try and up the scoring. We might make a tactical decoration once we get um, within a certain amount. Although Smith struck again, he's got Finn Allen. There's a couple of crucial wickets have fallen. So that's what just continues on about his his way at the moment. It's a good shot down the ground. That is four. 243 for four with um, Aswood 134. Good session for Wellington. You'd have to say Canterbury got a wee bit ahead in that game. Okay, that's good potentially for us. 
can Glenn Phillips show his experience? He is a fair age now, Glenn Phillips. He pretty much coming into the climax of his career. Been a great servant for the Otago uh, side over the few seasons we've had him. Thirty-five years of age. It's played all around the world. Stats for Otago are really nice. It's decent strike rate. Uh, very aggressive uh, Monday player. But yeah, just really super, been super reliable and can bowl bowl a few part time overs as well. He's been incredibly good. Could still be an incredibly handy man to have on the team um, for a few years ahead if he decides to continue on. It's a good shot. Drifting into the pads again. That's another four. Yeah, we bit annoyed the youngsters didn't take the opportunity. They still have a reasonable surface to bat on. It's a wee bit challenging, but we need them to be challenged to get better. Ben Phillips trying to score super quickly. 268 for four. Targo desperately trying to find a way to keep their season alive. Session two, day three. They've only got a certain amount of sessions to conjure up something in this game. And Savage has got the wicket to Phillips. He departs for 23 off 25. Simon Armstrong at the crease. It's got shots from Aswood. 150. So he's just got to continue on how he's playing and hopefully get enough support from the other players. Another 51 runs at least to sort of force Wellington to um, do something with this game. So Armstrong puts that away for four. It's a good shot again. Aswood's played a gem of um, um, an innings here. Beautiful shot from um, Simon Armstrong. The 300 up for Otago. Three hundred and four for five. It's a good shot. Well controlled. That is four. Just flicks that off the legs. That's another good shot from Aswood. Trying as much as we can, I think, just to try and. Wellington is something different. Got to try and get a win here somehow. Keep our season alive if we can. These two are going to have to bat brilliantly. We need Brady Wilkitson getting a contribution here as well. With our very limited time. Going to have to be super aggressive with the ball. Armstrong is gone. He's gone for 22. And Brady's at the crease now. Still we need 15 runs to avoid the follow-on. Bit of a lucky shot from Masswood. He'll take that. That's... Handy wee stroke. You use a record innings against Wellington. So Aswood, can he bring up a double ton here? He deserves one. He's batted so well in this knock. Brady's gone. 335 for seven. Dark girl continuously play their shots. Batted well enough to avoid the follow-on. We've done that part. Now we're just going to eat into their score a little bit. Gets away with it. Trent Kitson. He'll take the boundary. Just want to support Aswood long enough to get his um, double hundred. Kitson finds the edge. Nathan Smith will pick him up for nine. Brings Stuart Peel to the crease. Aswood trying to get to that double hundred. He's worked so hard to get there. It's a good shot. Four more. Nathan Smith, what a great innings. Uh, great um, innings with the ball he's had. Good five run. That's a double ton for uh, Bruce Aswood. Incredible knock. 204 off 279 deliveries. 34 boundaries in that. He's still going. It's still not finished yet. It's no ball anyway. And Peel will be dismissed for a duck.
first six of the innings. Eastwood clears the rope. Nathan Smith looking for another wicket. Eastwood continues his onslaught. Down the ground, four more. This is magnificent batting from Bruce Aswood. He is taking Wellington to all parts of the ground now. This is this is splendid. Um, the cross bat shots, the drives. He is sort of driving his team towards um, a, a respectful position. Four hundred for four hundred one for nine. Two hundred thirty six Aswood now. Three hundred deliveries. And he's gone now, but he has. Given his side a chance of maybe trying to force a result here. 236 of 303 deliveries. 38 fours, two sixes for Bruce Aswood. Falls just a wee bit shy of his highest score. Um, he did get that for Otago as well. But when he gets 100, he goes big. Great innings uh, there. Not much else in terms of the support. So he really had to um, go for that there. We've got to be super aggressive here. We've got to hunt for those wickets. Need a magnificent spell from someone. And Brady, has he drawn a false shot? He has, and that is the first wicket for Otago in this innings. And Brady will get a double strike. A beautiful in-swinging Yorker. Gets the wicket of Cox. Six for two after three. Can they find another strike? Uh, Moon, he'll, he'll dart it back a wee bit. We'll bring in, we'll bring in Bickerton. Bickerton will bowl, ask to be bowling a little bit more aggressively. Moon out the attack, Brady back in. Johnson and Carter have steered the ship a wee bit. Bickerton will get another wicket. Get the wicket of Carter. It's a 241 lead for Wellington. Trying to force a result here, because obviously they can press for our victory and win the um, Plunkett Shield today. So True Scott's gone. And Wellington to clear. 2-2-5 for 4 with Johnson 122 not out. So Targo, they will try to play for the game here. Try and keep their season alive. Need a good start with the bat. Someone's going to have to take a big hundred here. Give their team a chance. Eastwood. Can he, can he conjure up something brilliant again? Just need regular boundaries flowing off those backs. Wellington have left the door open a little bit for us. We're just going to be... We're going to take it. We're going to take this opportunity. Try and take this to the last game. If we do win this game, it will go down to that last game on uh, recording. But uh, 31 for 1 now as Falcon gets a wicket of Moon. Cochrane. It's got to try and set up the game still. I think we still need to be cautious of that. So we still have a few sessions to bat. So chop from Aswood against no ball. Really happy how we've come out of the blocks reasonably quickly. 64 without loss after 10. Who's going to step up in this innings? Win this. It's a thrilling three-team race for the title. Obviously Wellington in the box seat. Five for one. Wellington would need was a draw. Probably uh, one, but at least we give ourselves a shot. Potentially overrunning them. Thrilling stuff in the um, Plunkett Shield. 97 for one. 100 up for Otago. Wee bit of drift and the big wicket of Bruce Aswood. He has gone for 48 of 56. 
brings Belly Bird to the crease. Come on, Belly. you got to start showing your talent. Today's the day. Pressure situation to keep the um, hopes of winning a three-peat alive. And we could go titleless uh, this season as well. Shot from Cochrane. One twenty eight for two Otago. It's no ball, it's a four. Spinners should not be bowling no balls, but they have just uh, done so. Shot from Cochrane. He's playing playing with a wee bit of confidence. It's a good shot. Keeping the applying the pressure to the Wellingtonians. 173 required for Otago. Eight wickets in hand. Thrilling last day stuff. Cochrane's runnable 57 at the moment. Doesn't look quite nice. Experience of Finn Allen and Glenn Phillips to come into the lineup as well. So there's Bit of batting left for there for Otago. Oh, Billy Bird has been dismissed. He's gone for 16. Brings Finnell into the crease with an average of just over 33. Can score quickly, Finnell, and that's what we want. And so with Glenn Phillips, they'll be looking to take the game to Wellington. Oh, just gets past the diving edge there. This is a key partnership. We need to just consolidate. Get ourselves in a position in that last session now. If we can get 45 runs in this next hour um, and just have around 100 to get, it is definitely chaseable. Going around about 5.7, 5.8 and over here. It's good batting. Not easing off by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, that's a big wicket. Savage gets the wicket to Cochrane. He needed to kick on there. He's gone for 76 of 84. 180 for 4 now, Otago. Just need something from Phillips and Allen now. Keep the game moving. Coming for it, um, this game. Wellington is still going to have a substantial lead in the Plunkett Shield. They deserve to win the title, but if we can win this and they drop their last game, we'll get hammered. You just never know. Good shot. It's good that the depth's being tested anyway, like, Still competitive in most leagues. It's good. It's good for the future of Targo cricket. Just a bit worried about the budget next season as well when we um, come across that. 202 for four. And now was uh, Finn Allen getting into his work now. Just working Bond away through the point region for four. Oh, has he got that past the diving fielder? It's 210 for four. shots getting regular boundaries that's what's getting a targo way ahead in this chase gonna need around three and over in that last session six wickets in hand it's anyone's game a couple of wickets for wellington will get them right into the uh, tail it's a good shot from phillips works to a fine third man for four five minutes to bat in this session we've just got to have these two guys going into um t Oh, Finn Allen gets lucky there. Rides his luck a wee bit. 230 for four now. As the session comes to an end, 41 to Finn Allen. And 25 for uh, Glenn Phillips. Savage and Bond and King have looked quite prominent. 
See how the uh, black cat's been going. 281 for 8. That'll be the year in that game for the New Zealanders. Big session. So the key guard, if we bat the session out, we'll win this, ultimately. So the bat, bat over is, ah, uh, Phillips is gone. That's a strike from Bond. It's gone for 28, Glenn Phillips. And it does have flaky order, will be tested a little bit here. 241 for five. Oh, Finn Allen gets drawn into the shot. He's edged it down to... Sort of a short third man. It's got a bat sensibly for the next wee while and then up our strike rates again. 253 for five. Alan riding his luck there. He's played a few of those sort of shots. It's put up 50 though. It's a good shot. Just going to judge here. Just got to judge if we are going to get um, a, t a shot at the title. Because Wellington have picked up a few amount of points in this game. If, I think they're going to be too far ahead. We may play the last episode offline and then do our season review. That is going to be caught off the no ball. Incredibly um, bad from the spinner. 272 for 5. Still a wee bit of work to do for the Otago side. It's 4 more. 34 to win now. Five wickets in hand. Armstrong plonks that away for four. Just valuable partnerships throughout the innings have really kept things going. Finn Allen playing a very crucial role here. Tell you what, his career for a target on the first class team, incredible. He's been an incredible um, player. He's been tidy enough in one day and 20 over cricket. Oh, look at that turn. Can't really do too much about that. 16 to 1 now for Otago. It's been a good game. Um, I have to say, we've had to take the game to Wellington a bit. Had to trail a little bit in this game. But ultimately, we are looking like we're going to get the spoils. It's a good shot from Finn Allen again. He's finishing the job. He's just making sure that he gets there at the end. I can need one more run. And it's a victory for the Otago Volts in this Plunkett Shield game against Wellington. Keeping their mathematical chances alive going for a three-peat. Allen finishes 74, not out. Armstrong, 42. But you had to say, man, the match is asked for. That incredible 236 kept our team in the game. Does it put us in the standings? We're 14 points behind. Wellington needs 7 or more points to clutch out the title. And we've got to simply win our game. So we will do that offline, guys. We are playing Northern Districts offline. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We will see you back for the season review.